The former princess of Kateral Thani, known to secular Europe as Kezia Galenio, was found dead in her home in Marbella, Spain. Among the main versions of death was a drug overdose, but relatives flatly refused to believe it, saying that Galenio was committed to a sober lifestyle. A month before her death, the 46-year-old mother of three daughters gave a very brave interview to a women's show sharing revelations about life with a member of the powerful royal family. We all know the happy story of Queen Rania of Jordan, who lives soul to soul with King Abdullah II and works tirelessly to make life easier and easier for the women of the Middle East. But alas, for one such oriental tale, there are several more macabre tales. For example, it is still not known exactly what happened to the daughter of Sheikh Latifa of Dubai and the fate of the Saudi princess Mithail, executed for her love of a commoner, will not soon be forgotten. The former princess Al Thani was of Slavic origin. She was born in 1976 in Poland, moved as a child with her parents to the United States, and grew up and was educated in Los Angeles. There, her typically polished name, Cassia, became the exotic Keisha, before morphing into the more refined version, Cassia. The tall, bright girl was a huge hit with men and was convinced she was destined to live a special life. In the early nafties, Cassia went to look for happiness in the city of love Paris, and luck smiled on her. A long-legged beauty met with Abdulaziz bin Khalifa bin Hamad bin Abdullah bin Abdullah bin Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani. His fortune was as impressive as his name. The handsome man, born in 1948, came from the royal dynasty of Qatar. He had lived in exile in France since 1992. Abdulaziz, a native uncle of the current Emir of Qatar, was accused of an attempted coup d'etat, demoted from his post as Minister of Oil and Finance, and sent away to live out his life far from his homeland, though without expulsion from his family or the loss of his titles or fortune. Cassia agreed to convert to Islam and become Prince al Thani's third wife, especially since the previous two did not interfere with their newfound happiness. In 2005, the union was blessed with the birth of twin girls Yasmin and Malak, and two years later, another baby girl was born named Rome. And then something went wrong. After the birth of her youngest daughter, Cassia decided that it was time to think about her own development and started a business opening a website for selecting luxury gifts. There is almost no information about the reasons why the woman had a conflict with her husband, which is not surprising. It's a sensitive matter. We only know that Princess Al Thani, having begun to understand the financial records, found signs of fraudulent transactions in her husband's accounts at Barclays Bank. It was about the sum, not decisive for the royal family of Qatar, but capable of providing a comfortable existence for a couple or three generations of ordinary mortals. The bank agreed that it was wrong, and in 2009, Kwakia was compensated. She then filed for divorce from Abdulaziz and moved to Marbella, changing her last name to Galanio. Apparently, the conditions of separation proved to be quite comfortable from a financial and social point of view. In Spain, Cassia quickly became the queen of parties and a socialite, and not always appearing in public with her head covered and in long robes, as prescribed by the traditions of her husband's religion. She befriended celebrities, attended Sofia Vergara's wedding, and even became a board member of the French soccer club Martigues. However, all these bright confetti of a beautiful life lay on a rather dark background. All this time, the Polish woman continued to sue the Sheikh for custody of the girls who remained in Paris. Little information was leaked to the media, but all mentions of the lawsuit agree that it was ugly. Apparently, Cassia repeatedly tried to change her husband's mood, but Abdulaziz was adamant the girls lived with him in Paris and maintained contact with their mother only under his control. It was from Prince Alfani that information came out that Cassia was an alcoholic with mental problems. 
that was one of his arguments for determining custody. But the girls were growing up and they were forming their own opinions. Later, Yasmin and Malik announced that they wanted to live with their mother and left for Marbella. Abdulaziz was furious and declared that in this case, he was punishing them and depriving them of his paternal care. He also stopped the payments for the twins, leaving only the younger Reem in the balance. The 16-year-old Sheikhay lives with him in a Paris apartment, and since 2021, she has been forbidden to see Cassia. They can only correspond and talk. The girl is completely isolated from the outside world. She does not even attend school. In April 2022, the former princess made public shocking information. One of the twins was sexually abused by her father. This information was made public at a regular court hearing in Paris, and an investigation was launched. Just a few days later, Cassia gave a detailed interview to a small women's video channel and confirmed this information. On the morning of May 29, Cassia's lifeless body was discovered by police. The woman was locked from the inside of her home in Marbella. According to preliminary reports, no signs of a struggle or violence were found by experts. The unit decided to break down the door after Rome's urgent requests. Her mother did not answer or return her phone calls, and the girl found a way to reach the Spanish police station. Where the older twins were and why they did not sound the alarm is not reported but it is known that they were the ones who identified Cassia. Whatever the reason, the former princess lost her life. One thing is clear, her battle is lost, and the girl's fate is now entirely in her father's hands. There is no third force willing to take on the interests of Yasmin, Malik, and Rim, who are left motherless, alone with a powerful, closed, and influential royal family.